At first it's denial, it's it's total. No. Like I told the cop, I was like, no, 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 she can't be dead. Absolutely not. But then you go through the whole process and it's like, oh yeah, she is. Do you want to tell me a little bit about your daughter? Sure. My daughter is Julie, and um, she's a beautiful girl. She was fun-loving and laughed a lot and couldn't do enough for anybody, and a um, very, very outgoing girl. She was truly a good person. Julie was my sister. I was always just there to talk. If I needed her to talk or I needed advice or anything like that, cause she was seven seven years old than me so she went through a little bit before I would go through it so so now here's the tough part what happened that night she was out with friends she was living with her boyfriend and another gal and um, they went out and they were drinking of course and she had just turned 21 maybe two months ago before this night and then her boyfriend went to a, a friend's after that, but this was their usual routine, and she wanted to go to the beach. She was bent on going to the beach, and he said, no, you go into the apartment, and you know, you've had too much to drink, but no, she was stubborn, and she wanted to do this. She got in the car and went to the beach, and then the texting stopped, and Lonnie didn't know what happened to her. He thought, maybe she's mad at me, I don't know, whatever, and um, she went off the road and hit a tree. If anything can come from this, what would a message be that you would like? I mean, it's hard to call it a learning lesson because you'd never want to put someone, some family, loved ones at the expense of a message, right? But there's got to be something good that can come from this. Yes, um, not to drink be drinking and then get behind the wheel of a car absolutely not do not do it and drugs the same thing absolutely the same thing you are impaired if you have a friend let them drive call your parents you know call a friend that may be home or something um, the parent would rather get that call than a call from the cops get off your phone while you're driving and never I don't I don't even care if you're you go to the bar or you go somewhere and you have one drink, it, it doesn't matter. A drink's a drink, you might still be under the legal limit or whatever, but a drink's a drink, it's, it's still gonna impair you somehow. She was drunk and she was texting and she did not have her seatbelt on. Wear your seatbelt, it's a simple thing. So what if it wrinkles your clothes? That doesn't matter. If you're gonna go, just at least have somebody, go with somebody that's gonna stay sober. If you're there and you don't plan on drinking, but you do, call one of your parents or call your friends or somebody. Because it's always better to just call somebody than to have to get that message. I think that's a big message too. Like everybody thinks they're fine, right? And so these are all simple things that we could yes. do to stop this kind of stuff from happening, which is buckle your seatbelt, put your phone down, and use good judgment. If you've had too much to drink, call a friend, call Uber. It is a daily struggle. And with support from your family and friends, you do go on. And I know she's looking over us, that's for sure. She's there. I'm sure she would want this to be portrayed properly to the public and so they can learn something from it. I never had the opportunity to meet her, but she sounds like someone that would want to stop this from happening again.